A city budget can be a complicated topic, but it's an important part of how a city operates. Let's take a look at what a budget is, where the money comes from, some of the things that it pays for, and how everything comes together. A budget is a planned and itemized summary of specific resources that come into the city and how those resources are spent. The city is required by state statute to have a balanced budget, that is, making sure your revenue coming in and the funds that are allocated for spending are equal. Our city provides many services to the community, so city council, the city manager, and department heads have to make a lot of challenging decisions to make sure this balancing takes place. There are four major steps to the budget process. The preparation stage involves developing expenditure estimates. These lay out financial needs for a department while considering available revenue. The approval stage is when estimates are submitted to City Council for board review, often with resident input. Once any changes are made, the budget is then legally approved and adopted. The implementation stage is when the budget is officially implemented by departments throughout the year. Finally, the audit stage measures the performance of all parts of government during the year. This information is evaluated and used to guide budget decisions for the following year. Let's take a look at the money going out. First is the operating budget, which pays for all the daily activities of the city, including wages and benefits, utilities, supplies, contractual services, and more. Second is the capital budget, which pays for new big investments or rehabilitation of city assets. The city uses a Capital Improvement Plan, or CIP, which is a planning tool based on long-range physical planning and financial projection, which forecasts the city's needs over a five-year period. On the other side of things, money comes in through property taxes, grants, subsidies, licenses and permits, and user fees. This money is required to fund both the operating and the capital budgets. Now that we know what a budget is, where the money comes from, and where it goes, how do these pieces work together? There are two important connections to make. Capital asset categories involve dedicating different funds to specific functions. For example, the Franchise Fees Fund is used for road constructions, and the Heritage Fund is used for buildings and park rehabilitation, and the Municipal Building and Addition Fund is used for new buildings and reconstructions. Money is allocated to these funds over time in order to pay for those big capital projects in cash, and usually paid for in the short term. The debt payment method is used for longer term projects and use city issued bonds. These are paid back through principal and interest payments. Some of the projects funded through this method are the construction or renovation of city facilities, such as the sports dome or the operation and maintenance building. Let's recap what we've learned. A budget is a planned and itemized summary of specific resources that come into the city and how those resources are spent. The two main components are the operating budget and the capital budget. The operating budget handles day-to-day -day operations, such as wages and benefits, utilities, and contractual services. Just like a normal household, these bills will go up with inflation. The capital budget is for major investments, like how a household may purchase vehicles or renovations. Money comes into the city through these sources. Property taxes, grants, subsidies, licenses and permits, and user fees. This money is used to provide services to the residents. Your city council, city manager, and department directors work with the public to decide how to best balance this budget. If you'd like to learn more about city budgets, contact the finance department or visit our website at www.brooklynpark.org finance.